right. I'm gonna give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushai, the bond to the elders, and the apostle of GMS, peace and blessings, salutations to hope for that. This is Brother Yakanan coming at you once again with another lesson. In this lesson here, I wanna get into the topic of uh the men of the Lord's willing this spiritual sword, man, meaning this Bible, and how the Lord used us to bring out his word, to be his mouthpiece. And to wield this sword with precision, man, accuracy, man. When it comes to the history, the knowledge, and the uh, all-out breakdowns of this Bible, the mysteries of this of this Bible, man. You know, and the Lord have used um, what we know as the apostles of the day. And then the Lord started with the elders, the elders, the GMS, man. On down, man. You look at the Elder Gabars, the Ramlav, Elder Tahars. Different elders that's in the different states, they, they will this, even the elder brothers, they will this, uh, this Bible with precision, man. Their textbook, their surgical with it, man, will tear you guys up. Like, one one being come to mind is vocab, no class Malone, man. This guy is the punching bag of the uh, Israelites, man. And he gets, he gets uh, beaten asunder, man, cut asunder, you know. And a lot of you other scoffers and, and so-called Bible Christians out there, man, that, that, that know nothing. You know, you might know a little bit of history or a little bit of this, a little bit of that. When you come up against the, the true prophets of the men of the Lord, you get, you get beaten down, man, spiritually. You know? And the first scripture that comes to my mind is uh, the book, the book of Hosea, man. Hosea 6 and um, 6 and 5 It says therefore have I hewed them by the prophets man and the word hewed which means cut the Lord have cut cut you with, with the uh, with the word man you sit up there it says Mary had an immaculate had a, uh, a baby with angels or with an angel we cut you on that man we show you the, the, the true Break down the true doctrine of that man, the sound doctrine. You know the Cornelius issue, the chip issue. You know any other manner of madness you come up to the to the highways and byways with on the comment boards with the, the men of the Lord. We cut you with it, man. And a lot of you, you get cut when you get emotional. You get your uh, feelings involved, man. When you giving us um just a, a whole three book paragraph on the comment board. How much you hate us, how much you'll do this and do that to us and you know, give us threats and false doctrine and, and so on and so forth, man. But uh, it goes on to say, I have slain them by the words of my mouth. And it's an end have judged, and had judgments are as the light that goeth forth. So who the Lord slay you with? The prophets, man. We the word the word of his mouth. The Lord used men to bring out His word, man. And sometimes those men bring it out in harshness. Sometimes those men are pleasant, or they may get down on your level. Sometimes they may just give it to you rough, raw, and, and rugged, man. It's up to you. you. You can't get emotional about it. Because ultimately, man, in the book of Hebrews, the fourth chapter, Around the 12th verse, give us the whole rundown on this word, how this word works, and how this word is uh, in sync and exposing people, man. Their true intentions and their thoughts, and how you, uh, how you um, carry yourself, man. Sometimes the men of the Lord be out there on the block, we're not, we not actually talking to you. We're just talking to the, out there to the, the wide open winds, man, letting our word uh, or the vibration that we bring it out, just uh, let the word of the vibration just pretty much push out the way it will, man. And sometimes you be the guy at the bus stop, the guy just passing by, the guy that just, you know, really nobody's talking to you, but you get cut by it, man. Maybe you a secret homo, maybe you some type of warlock, drug dealer, a witch, you get, you get your ass cut, man. Then you get in your feelings. You want to fight. You want to threaten us. 
You know, we had a guy this past weekend. He wanted to threaten us. Talking about going home and get a gun. Don't be out here late. Hey, man. We not moved by that, man. Been there, done that. You know, you got men in the Lord that's out there. We really, really die about it, man. If it need be. Okay? But I want to I wanna get back. Get back to it. It's Hebrews 4 and then get to the point 12. It says, For the words of the Lord is quick and powerful. Right, and it is, man. This word is powerful, man. It holds weight. It has volume with it, man. You know? It has volume with it. You got to learn about volume and, and how volume is, is, it brings forth all the pressure that's inside of something, man. And this, and this, and this, and this word holds power. Mighty power, man. That's coming from your by Shabbat Shah. It says, And sharper than any two edged sword, piercing even to the the dividing of sunder of soul and spirit yeah and it does that we've seen it over the years you know like the, a great example was a week or two ago those young brothers and young lions up there in dallas man those brothers held their own they came to that edomite with his madness man it, so much that he got in his feelings and this guy pulls out a, a, a gun man with a 1911 pistol man Ready to, ready to do something, man. And then, and, them, and, them, and, them, and guess what? At the end of the day, the Lord protect those men. They held their own, man. Those young lions, man. And them men are gonna be honored for that, man. I'm gonna say the, the day, the days of the old, that old spirit, old or uh, what, what is good old boy spirit? That shit old, with, man. We in a new, we in a new day. The men, of the Lord are back. We're not scared of you. We're gonna bring this out. Power, man. How about Shabbat Shabbat, man? But let me keep going, because I, you know, hey, it says, uh, pressing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrows, and as a discerner of the thoughts and intents of heart. This is what this word do. It is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. So you can come up with your semantics, you can come up with your games, and, uh, you know, trying to play, uh, dick pick on every word, but this word is going to expose you, man. This word is going to expose the spirit of the different nations, man. Whether you be an Israelite Gentile or whether you just be a plain out heathen. This word does it, man. When we get into this word and get into diving into different topics, different issues of the scriptures, man, it's going to expose you, man. You can't, you cannot hide it. Even you got them bonehead Israelites, man. It, just, it exposes whether you're a demon or not, okay? This is, uh, this is another one I want to get real quick. This is uh, Sirach, Sirach, uh, and also, yeah, going into this, this scripture here, this, this, this Bible, man, I mean, it, it's so much exposure, man, to where we, we didn't say it over years, you know, there's it, no such, there's no need to really put our hands on you, man, or do anything to you, which we, we want to, but there's really no need, the spirit to whoop your ass is better than anything, man, that is therapeutic in itself, you know, that's going to cut you so deep, so hard or so deep to where you'd never be right. You'd never get your mind to the point of uh, being gathered again, man, because you're so, so, so spiritually uh, cut, you know? You gotta think of this other. Uh, let me get this scripture here. Oh, bear with me. This is uh, Proverbs. I always bring this one out. Brings Proverbs 18 and. Let's see where I'm at. 18 and 14. Got two of them. It says, uh, Proverbs 18 and 14, the spirit of a man will stain his infirmities, but a wounded spirit, who can bear it? And, and, and a lot of times, not nobody can bear it, man. You know, you, you can cut Edomite so hard with this, with this Bible, man, going into the history, going into the judgment, and what's getting ready to happen to their kingdom, that they, you know, it might go home and commit suicide. It might go home and uh, take a bottle of pills, man. Cause they got cut so hard, man. Some some Israelites go out there, man, and ready to bust the head on the concrete. Cause they get cut so hard, man. You know this this word moves in volume, man. That's why we have a lot of Edomites down here. You know, one of the videos, Edomites falling down, Edomites running into tr uh, the trolley and shit. This word goes out, man. It's powerful, man. It make it make people come out of themselves. Demons get on them, man. 
But this is the one I had too. This is a Syrac. Where well, I want to start. Uh, 28 and I'm going to start at 17. It says the stroke of a whip making marks in the flesh. But the stroke of the tongue breaking bones, man. And that's going into, you know, you know, sometimes your mouth or your tongue can get you in trouble, man. And certain issues and certain um, different events or different uh, clashes amongst men. Your tongue can get you in trouble. Your tongue can get you killed. In some cases, your tongue can get you locked up. But ultimately, when you're using that tongue in the right sense, when it comes to this word and the Lord is, is with you, this tongue can actually put walk whip, whips and markings on the flesh of people, man. It actually, uh, like I said, break bones of the wicked, man. And we didn't seen it. We didn't seen it do people spiritually, man, these things. It says, uh, many have fallen by the edge of the sword, but not so many have fallen by the by the tongue. And we use this tongue, we use this word, you know, as the sword of the Lord, man, because we the mouthpieces. You gotta get over it. We the mouthpieces of the Lord, man. The prophets are back. Live and direct, man. You know? Uh let me get is that one I have down. It was uh, Jeremiah 23. Yeah, it's Jeremiah 23 and 29. Is not my word like a like as fire, said the Lord, like a hammer that break it the, the rock in pieces. And that's what they do, man. This word is powerful, man. This word, man, the most high man, he put spirit on different men. Excuse me, different men out here, man. To brothers brothers be Dismounting in these the wicked man. You seen that that slaughter fest up there a week ago in Chicago with uh vocab alone, man. That, that guy he I don't think he'll never be right, man. I, I seen his head fall off and roll down the block actually, man. Spiritually in the in the spirit watching that video. I watched all of I guess four hours of it. You know? And that guy was dismantled. We didn't seen plenty of other guys dismantled. So called Bible Christians, uh, uh we had one recently. Bible student, been in school four years, think they know the ins and outs, and they don't, man, when it comes down to it. And also, like the scriptures say, we give, we, the Most High have given us a mouth that our enemies can't gain, say, no resist. Sometimes they, they may uh, actually get convinced, man. You know? They may, some of them may be Israelite Gentiles, they get convinced so much and get cut so bad to where they want to get down. <laughs> you know? But I'm gonna keep. I don't, you know, I don't want to keep harping on the point. You know, I want to get, get what I needed to get out. Like I said, but this word is is our spiritual sword. We will it with grace, man, and with the will of your heart, by Shem Shai. We actually, uh, they give us our our strength because we know that that power is coming from Him when we will it, man. You know, so with that, man, I want to give all praises and glory to you. How by Shem Shai, the Bible to the elders, Apostle GMS, peace and blessings and salutations, man, to the hopeful elect out there, man. Shalom.